This is Kayla from 9CI. I'm going out for a walk in the neighborhood to see what kind of measurements we get. And it just so happens that I've run into some friends. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out with my other neighbor, Ian, here with our Safe and Sound Pros. Nice. Um, we actually, there's a corner in this neighborhood where um, be hard to see maybe, but we're getting a max reading of 28,700 here. Um, and it relates to that building right over there. And so we're picking up, we're getting stuff from cell towers, then there's some directional data links on there, and they all blast kind of right through this column. So right here, we're seeing up to 28,000, 30,000. We're gonna go across the street, we're gonna go about 30 meters away and see what the readings are. Ian, what kind of measurements do you have on yours? Uh, the max I've gotten so far is 17,800. Oh. And the peak right now is around 12,000. So it's still getting there. So, just past the hole here. Perfect. Yep. Great. I'm going to reset this to clear the, uh, clear the max. It'd be nice if there were a reset button on the max. <laughs> <laughs> So here we're only seeing a max of about 3,600. So it's basically eight to 10 times lower here than it is 30 meters over there across that little street. So in an in a environment where you have some buildings and some trees and obstructions, um, you might have a really, really nasty RF environment and your neighbor's house might be totally clean just from the way the RF bounces off the houses, the way that there's trees obstructing the, uh, the antenna beam path and all of those factors. So it can be all over the place. We'll go another 100 feet or so here and see what it is. <laughs> so down here, I'm getting a max reading of about 800 to 1,000. There's our, Ooh, oh, we got 2,000 there. So it's, it's even lower here. It's another 50% lower here. And so wow. here we have um, some trees that the foliage has come out on. It's summer, right? So there's water in the tree and then the leaves have come out. So all that's gonna attenuate. It's gonna absorb all the RF coming off that building. Um, so less than, you know, basically 2,000 here, 30,000 up there. So 15 times higher on the other side of that little street. And we've only moved. Like what, 50 meters? Yeah, maybe 50 meters. We've only come down in elevation, like three or four meters or something like that. And we just have some, some trees and a, a partial house obstruction. So the people who live in these couple houses, in particular this one, are getting 15 times lower dosage from those towers than the people who live in that house right there. All right in the same neighborhood. Um, I'm getting 2,090 at the max. Peak is somewhere around 2,000. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm getting about, depends on how you orient the thing, 4,000, 5,000. We got a, a quickie peak of 8,000. So this is, um, let me get that in there just in case we missed it. That'll probably work. This is less than a third of what we're getting basically two blocks away because mm -hmm. the, beam, the beam patterns from these antennas are, are designed to broadcast out and not down. So at the bottom of a building, we're actually not going to get that much. The neighbors who are further away are going to be more in the beam. Um, but the people who live right on the top floor, you know, you get, they're like 10 meters away from the transmitter. <laughs> you know, they, this thing would just be maxed out up there. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Safety first. Yeah. And we can see, let's get a shot of the other uh, array. The vertically guys, uh, those are sectoring antennas. So those would be like a 60 degree pie slice or 120 degree pie slice. And then um, the round ones, like that, that one that looks kind of like a drum. Mm -hmm. um, those are dishes with a, with a cover over the front to keep like rain and ice and stuff off. So those are the data links. That big round one there, that's probably the data link to a fiber optic station somewhere over there. That's probably what's lighting us up so hard in the neighborhood. That's gonna be a high speed data link that's on all the time at full power. And so if you live in the beam of that thing, you're just gonna be zapped all the time. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Kayla from 9CI. Subscribe to our channel, like our page, and visit us at www.9ci.ca. Thank you.